Rare right there. Morning. There's so many cars here today, I don't even know where to start. Morning. We're getting ready to leave right there. X is about. Morning. Morning. I've got it here. I've got it. I've got it in the NSX. 
There's a couple of these around here. Wow. Oh, you go on the other side. Wow, it's got a stove, a sink. Wow. Put a lot in here for the size of these things. It's really, I mean, the chances of a cop being able to, if this action and you're going to, the chances of him being able to key in on that license plate when he should really be focused on, you know, you got to get behind the guy. Then you see the Wow. Wow, that Kingbird is just and it's on bags too. You got a lot of clearance. What's that? You got a lot of clearance. Yeah. How long have you? Uh, I've never seen one of these before. How long? Never seen a vehicle cross? No, There's never. Not that many people have. They only ever made about five thousand of them. Okay. And that was back. This one's back from two thousand one. Wow. And uh, they only made made five thousand of them. They used them for like the rally racing. Yeah. And uh, used them in Paris to the car. They did really well. Wow. Basically, it's usually did it to show off their off-roading. Yeah. Um, so, off -roading, how well they do their... what made you want to get one? Um, they're original. You don't okay. see too many of them around, and they have an extremely good off-road system. Yeah. They go really well off-road. The suspension's really good. The drivetrain is like a Borg Warner uh, transfer case. And, uh, it's the whole four-wheel drive system is really good. These wow. things do really well off-road. Yeah. Now, do you have any future plans for it besides what you've done already, or are you just going to leave it yeah, alone? It's all original. The entire thing, other than the stickers, is original, except for the springs in the back. The taller springs in the back, and I don't really get to do much else to it. I want to try to keep it original. Yeah. Oh, wow. This is great. Oh yeah. I don't see any other vehicles though. Wow. Yeah, it's a friend of mine told me about him. He lives out in California. He's yeah. gonna buy a Jeep and he said, get a vehicle across. Wow. So it'll blow away the Jeep. So I said, alright. And it looks pretty look looks pretty roomy in there too. It's good for the uh, driver and the passenger, but in the back it's really see it comes from the factory of the car of seats. Oh Caro seats. Wow. It's roomy for the driver and passenger, but getting back in the back is very difficult. Gotcha. It's got room for haul and stuff, things like that. Oh, you got a little model here, too. Yeah, the Hot Wheels actually made a vehicle. Cross. Oh. Right there. It's actual Hot Wheels. Oh, cool. <laughs> it's neat, isn't it? Yeah. Hot Wheels made yellow ones, red ones, and silver ones. Okay. They, they were way ahead of their time when they, when they built these. Yeah. Way, way ahead of their time. And easy to maintain, I assume, too. Because they're, you know, as this far one, as... This one was garage kept. I found it a few years back. And the guy only had 43,000 miles on it. Wow. Wow. The guy, the guy hardly ever drove it. He had two of them. Two of them? Yeah, he had two of them. How many gallons? What's that? How many gallons is the tank? Uh, 20 gallons. Okay.
Wow. The ones in Japan actually had backup cameras on them too when they came out. Really? Well, thanks for telling me about it. Yeah, anytime. My name's Eddie. Hey, Eddie, nice to meet you. Yeah. Is uh, actually really nice chrome. Really? Yeah, I, I, I wanted to see how it looked in black, so I oh. um, kind of just did the um, plasti dip. Yeah. So it comes right off. Okay. You can peel the plasti dip right off, but right now it's just your plasti dip wheels. Wow. But the chrome's in really nice shape on it. Yeah. What size tires are these? 33. Wow. Wow. Now you can still find these for sale occasionally, right? You can. You okay. can find them for a reasonable price. Usually the ones with the lower mileage go for around 12 grand. You can find uh, wow. these ones with 100,000 miles for around 8 grand. That's not bad. Yeah, I actually got a really good deal on this one. Wow. With the low mileage and everything, I got it for 8 grand. Wow. But normally those ones with 43,000 would go for around 12. Yeah. But even then, they were 30,000 new out of the factory. Wow. It was a, considered one of their higher end vehicles. Yeah. Suzu's higher end vehicles. Wow. I'm amazed they didn't really market them here. No, yeah, they didn't do too, too much with them. Wow. They uh, put like one or two in the in the dealer's uh, showrooms yeah. just to kind of show off their off-road capabilities, the Suzu's yeah. capabilities. Yeah. And they had such a high price on them, it drew the people in. Right. But then the people saw the price tag and then they bought something that's a different, like a different Isuzu, a lower grade Isuzu. Yeah. They could afford. Wow. Are these lights here? Oh no, this is a... Uh, I thought these were lights, okay. Yeah, those are actually supposed to look like uh, fangs. Oh, I gotcha. I put the VX over the Suzu symbol there, you can see. Oh yeah. There's the Suzu badge. Gotcha. Oh. Wow. It's a fun vehicle to drive. Yeah. It'd be nice if it was a stick, but it Did... only came in automatic. Oh. I wouldn't be surprised if someone converted one. There have been some people who converted them. Okay. I've uh, gone on the forums. There's like a a, a uh, viacross.info mm -hmm. uh, is the uh, name of the website. Yeah. And they have a Facebook page as well. 